On this Wednesday, the 20th of April, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Christ has entered not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, mm. now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ our Passover, page 83. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 38, beginning on page 636. Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become <clears throat> like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel. King Belshazzar, King Belshazzar made a great feast for thousands of his lords and drank wine in front of the thousands. Belshazzar, when he tasted the wine, commanded that the vessels of gold and of silver, which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem, be brought, that the king and his lords, his wives, his concubines might drink from them. Then they brought in the golden and silver vessels which had been taken out of the temple, the house of God in Jerusalem. And the king and his lords, his wives, his concubines drank from them. 
They drank wine and praised the gods of gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Immediately, the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote on this plaster of the wall of the king's palace, opposite the lampstand. And the king saw the hand as it wrote. Then the king's color changed, and his thoughts alarmed him. His limbs gave way, and his knees knocked together. The king cried aloud to bring in the enchanters, the Chaldeans, and the astrologers. The king said to the wise men of Babylon, Whoever reads this writing and shows me its interpretation shall be clothed with purple and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Then all the king's wise men came in, but they could not read the writing or make known to the king the interpretation. Then King Belshazzar was greatly alarmed, and his color changed, and his lords were perplexed. The queen, because of the words of the king and his lords, came into the banquet hall, and the queen said, O king, live forever. Let not your thoughts alarm you or your color change. There is in your kingdom a man in whose spirit of the holy gods. In the days of your father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, were found in him. And King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, made him the chief of the magicians, enchanters, Chaldeans, and astrologers, because an excellent spirit, knowledge, and understanding to interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve problems were found in this Daniel, whom the king named Belshazzar. Now let Daniel be called, and he will show the interpretation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A Song to the Lamb, page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you raised up your servant Anselm to teach the church of his day to understand its faith in your eternal being, perfect justice, and saving mercy. Provide your church in every age with devout and learned scholars and teachers that they may be able to give a reason for the hope that is in us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 387, we continue to pray this morning. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. 
May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.